My name is Ernest Dollar and I'm the director of the City of Raleigh Museum and I'll be your Masters of Ceremonies today. Um, it is truly my pleasure to welcome you all downtown for this wonderful special occasion as we welcome La Catrina to downtown Raleigh. Um, I'd like to take a moment to recognize our city officials who supported the City of Raleigh Museum and the Raleigh Arts who helped make this uh, a reality. And it is Christina Jones, who is a city council member. Great support from our city officials for the museum and, and all we do to sort of bring history and culture to downtown Raleigh. Our mission at the City of Raleigh Museum is to tell the story of the city and all those who call it home. Uh, this mission is what forged a relationship with the Mexican consulate over nine years ago. Nine years ago, we've been working with them to do just that. Since then, we've worked with the Mexican consulate on many different projects, exhibits, and programs to document the experience of Mexicans in the triangle and highlight the rich cultural traditions they bring to the city of Raleigh. And today, along with our friends at Raleigh Arts, uh, we're happy to continue this meaningful work with the unveiling of this wonderful artwork. Uh, we hope you'll join us next Friday for First Friday, where we will close Fayetteville Street and celebrate the beloved holiday of Dias de los Muertos. So again, come back next Friday and really get to see her celebrated in all of her glory. So I'd like to pass the microphone off to another one of our partners who made this a reality, uh, Mr. David Clegg, who's the chair of the Arts Commission for Raleigh Arts. Good afternoon. Raleigh was the first Municipal Arts Commission in the state of North Carolina and the official role of the Arts Commission for the City of Raleigh is to expand Raleigh's creative community. And we do that through programming, grants, art centers, public art, arts collection, and universal access. Raleigh welcomes arts partners and heartily, once again, welcomes the Mexican Consulate which has been a force for cultural expression in Raleigh since 2000. The consulate has provided unique pathways to communicate, initiate art projects for nearly 25 years. And now to bask on La Catrina, who is simply not iconic, she is universal. She is both macabre and elegant at the same time. She is an ideal who evokes ideas, who creates inspiration, who makes for innovation and gives us the opportunity for interpretation. La Katrina raises our awareness of mortality and destiny in the cycle of life. Regardless of occupation, your status, we are all the same. She brings a comfort in acceptance of mortality. She tells us to live our lives in ways that count. She speaks to our shared destiny. She challenges us to accept that we collectively are the guardians of our families, our communities, our justice, and our legacy. And that this guardianship takes a decided feminine form. Raleigh is an exciting place to be right now. Raleigh is metropolitan. It is sophisticated. It is a hub of innovation. It is a hub of creativity. And today, we have the opportunity with La Katrina to reflect on the shared vision of our collective destiny as this city and this community and our creativity moves into the 21st century full tilt. Thank you so much. And now please welcome the Consul General of Mexico in Raleigh, the Honorable Claudia Velasco. Good afternoon. It is an honor to be here at the inauguration of the exhibit of the Jayan Katrina sculpture in downtown Raleigh. This event represents a celebration of Mexican art, culture, of our vibrant tradition. I would like to express my heartfelt gratitude to all of those who made this exhibition possible. First and foremost, 
I would like to thank the Secretary of Culture and Natural Resources of North Carolina, Mr. Wilson, for being here with us today. Your presence is gently appreciated and signifies the importance of the culture exchange and collaboration. Thank you for recognizing the value of promoting diversity and emphasize Mexican identity through events like this. I also like to extend my sincere gratitude to the City Raleigh Museum and Raleigh Arts to their unwearing support of tireless effort in making these exhibitions possible. Your commitment and preserving and promoting cultural heritage is truly commemorable. Without your collaboration and dedication, this event will not have been possible. A special thanks to the talent artist Jose Luis Martinez Pasillas, whose inspiration from Jose Guadalupe Posadas Catrina has brought this amazing sculpture. Your creativity and craftsmanship have beautifully captured the sense of Mexican tradition. I would I also like to acknowledge Casa Huascaliente Chicago for their support and collaboration. Your partnership has been instrumental in bringing the Katrina to Raleigh, making the second city to host this incredible artwork. And of course, thank you so much to the General Consul of Mexico in Chicago. This is an elegant skeletal figure adorned in fashionable clothing and wild green hat. The Katrina is a symbol of represent the Mexican day of death is originated from the engraving of Jose Guadalupe Posada, a renewal Mexican artist in the early 20th century. It represents the concept of death as a part of life, reminding us to embrace the cycle of life and death with joy and celebration. The Mexican day of death tradition holds immense significance in our culture. It is a celebration of life and a time to remember and honor our lowest one who had passed away. Contrary to, one, to what one may expect, the day of the dead is not a sad day, but is a cheerful and vibrant celebration. It is not something too fear, fearful or scary. It is a time when we come together to remember the memories, stories, and louder shower with our department's loved ones. It is time to embrace the cycle of life and death, acknowledging that our loved ones are still with us in spirit as long as we remember them. Together, we can keep cultural and heritage alive for, for generations to come. Don't forget to share your pictures on social media with La Catrina, with the hashtag La Catrina Tour and La Catrina Raleigh Museum. Thank you so much and enjoy the Katrina. Again, thank you, David, for putting uh, her in such a cultural perspective. It's wonderful to hear her place in the art world. And, and uh, the Madam Consul, thank you so much for uh, thanking the museum and working with you. It has been really a pleasure. And your sustaining uh, ability to support those who support the consulate and Mexican culture is unwavering. So thank you again. Uh, I would like to introduce Mr. Reed Wilson, who is the Secretary for North Carolina Department of Natural and Cultural Resources, uh, our, our big brothers up the street, as I love to say, who help promote culture and history across the state. Thank you. And thank you, Consul General Claudia Velasco, for your invitation for me to be here today. Um, it is great to be here with La Katrina. Um, I feel small for some reason. Um, but I bring you warm greetings from Governor Roy Cooper, and I really am excited to be here today. At our Department of Natural and Cultural Resources, we do the arts, we do culture, we do history, we do parks, we do aquariums, we do science museums, history museums, African American Heritage Commission, American Indian Heritage Commission, the symphony right down the street, uh, the State Library, the State Archives, and more. More than 100 places. Um, and I think what's important about all of those places and the ideas they represent is they help bring us together as North Carolinians. Here we are gathered. Um, they help create a shared sense of identity among us as North Carolinians, provide common ground, and any time we can have common ground in 2023, it's a significant accomplishment. Uh, and everyone is welcome at the Department of Natural and Cultural Resources. And our department is happy to work with 
Consul General of Mexico and her team. Um, you know, she first spoke to me of La Catrina months ago. Uh, and so this has been a priority of hers to bring this amazing sculpture here for a long time. And now I see why. I mean, it's one thing to see a picture. It's another to see her in reality. I mean, stunning, beautiful, majestic, thought-provoking. You know, there's a whole lot of adjectives I could go through, but I don't have enough time. But this is an incredible work of art. Um, and I would just say that she also worked with our department um, to coordinate donation of Spanish language books that came from the Institute for Mexicans Abroad, which were donated to several public libraries in North Carolina, so Spanish language kids books. So that was a wonderful collaboration as well. You know, art has the power to do many things. It enriches our lives, spurs creativity, provides new perspectives, and has the power to teach us and to heal us. Um, and, and the arts are an essential component of any culture, wherever one may be. And we are so fortunate that this brilliant work of art is right here in Raleigh, North Carolina. We should all celebrate that. And as she said, tell everyone on social media it's here because uh, people will come here and just be you know, totally awestruck by this. Um, I want to close by saying that immigrants from Mexico have added so much to our state and to our nation. America is richer, more vibrant country than, well, because you are here. And as Governor Cooper frequently says, the more diverse and inclusive we are, the stronger and better we are. And so our department looks forward to continuing to work with the Consul General and her staff as we share and celebrate Mexican culture here in North Carolina. Thank you. It's a wonderful time in every museum director's life when you get to use the novelty scissors. So would you guys like to, to join us so we can un actually unveil? <laughs>